Hey guys, it's Henry, and in this video, I wanna talk about how trading changed my life and how I've been making sometimes up to six figures per month, but on most months, I'm making about $50,000. And trading absolutely changed my life. If you watch this video, I'm going to explain to you how how it did basically change my life, how it can change your life. Basically, I think trading is the key and the ticket to freedom. And so many people don't really understand how to trade. So I'm gonna give you lots of knowledge bombs and tips and also motivation on why this journey just makes a lot of sense. As you can tell, I'm traveling right now, I'm staying in a hotel. I've actually been traveling for the past three years because my income comes from online sources, right? So when I trade, everything is basically online. I just have to open up my laptop right here and make some smart decisions. It doesn't really take a lot of time, so it gives me the flexibility to go where I please in life. So I've been to many countries like Poland, been to Ukraine, Turkey, Georgia, Italy, Spain, France. I'm in Latvia right now. So I love going to different countries and just exploring different cultures and different cuisines. And that's a big part of my life, which is trying different foods and just experiencing new cultures because there's so much that you can learn, but it's very hard to learn if you're stuck at a nine to five job. And that's exactly why I have created my six week bootcamp, which you can check out in the first link in the description. I teach you how to become very stable and become a passive income investor like myself, weekly and monthly income. I'm very focused on this specifically because there's far too many people out there that are doing day trading, swing trading. They're doing risky stuff. And for me, I would rather make, I know I've said this many times on my channel, I'd rather make $100 a day, $300 a day, very consistently rather than, you know, making $5,000 one day and then losing, you know, like $3,000 the next. I would rather be really stable. And now these days I am making about $2,000 per day, but it didn't really start there. I started with basically nothing. When I was 19, I got my first job on Wall Street. Don't ask me how, it was It was very lucky. I did a lot of networking to get that job, but I really didn't know what I was doing. And my first paycheck, I put the whole $2,000 that I got in two weeks. I think I was making about $4,000 a month on my first internship. I put all of that into the market and I started to focus on trading and learning how to grow my portfolio with options. And I really didn't know anything. I was doing a whole lot of, of buying options and that's not really how compound interest works. You know, if you're trading, that's more of like an active duty. You're kind of like actively trying to um, win or lose, right? Like it's pretty difficult. And many of my clients are, you know, just talk to someone that owns an auto body shop, doctors, lawyers, software engineers, many different professions. And these different professions are obviously busy. They don't have the time to sit there and trade. So for me, I like to trade Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for just 45 minutes. And the strategies that I'm using are mainly selling strategies. So a selling strategy means that you're opening up a position, for example, a put credit spread. I have many videos on this channel that you should definitely check out, especially my playlist on spreads. But when I open up that trade, it gives me a predetermined risk and a reward. So for example, I'll risk $500 to make $100. I love being in that type of situation. Whether you're a busy business owner or an employee, or whether you have lots of free time in your hands and you're unemployed, it doesn't really matter. The way I trade really takes very little amount of time. I'm not an active trader. So what that means for me is I'm able to travel and trade. And that's really important because one of the main reasons I got into finance and trading and I studied this was I wanted to make a lot of money. But the point of making a lot of money was so I can buy freedom because money is just paper. And if you're sitting there working all the time, you're not truly living life. You're not creating anything. You're not making you know babies. You're not spending time with your family. You're not doing your hobbies that you like. You're not changing the world in most cases. So for me, I really like to have the freedom to just do what I want to do. And I truly don't know what I want to do yet, but I really enjoy having the time to continue to learn on myself, focus on self-improvement, focus on the gym, focus on health, and just focus on learning more about this world that we live in. And an incredibly easy way is to put your investments in passive income autopilot mode, which means that say that you're making 50,000 or hundred thousand dollars a year. Me personally, everything above that you make above your living expenses that you can save, I would put all of that into an option trading portfolio because that's what I did. I literally, everything that I made, I lived really cheaply and really frugally. And it wasn't honestly the best decision because I was super hungry to hit six figures because I knew that once I have $100,000 saved, that my portfolio would basically be at the point where I could still keep working. But at that point, if I wanted to live a really cheap lifestyle and go to a more third world country or a very cheap country that I could potentially get by with like a part time job and kind of be like fire, you know, financially independent, retired early. Now, $100,000 is not a lot, but I have made a video 
on retiring with $197,000, which you also have to check out. It's in the description. And it's also in my playlist and you can check out my channel. But essentially above six figures is where you can start making some pretty good income. Because if you make, you know, say 3% or 4% per month on $197,000, basically 200K, that's about $5,000 a month, you know, kind of on the low end, right? Of course, the market has volatility. And honestly, volatility is kind of a good thing for an option trader. I always hated volatility. And then when I was working on Wall Street and I asked one of the guys on Wall Street that I was working with, basically like, what do you do about volatility? He was like, what do you mean? Volatility is a good thing for option traders. So it kind of really changed my perspective because I thought that the market is like, it has to be really predictable and you have to find like a really big winner and just make tons of money. But what I found to be really successful is not that because if you're always looking for like a really huge winner, it's kind of like a game that you're playing of just stress, lots of time spent on it, uh, worrying if a position will work out. Whereas the flip side is when I open positions in my Discord community, which is still the first link in the description, it doesn't really change. I just have that link and that Discord community is basically me trading live for my students because I want people to understand that if you sell options, it doesn't have to be sexy. It can be really, really boring. Like I trade the same 20 to 30 stocks and I purposely screen for people. Like that's why I do a phone call because A, I wanna make sure that people understand that I'm a real person, that we have a conversation, but B, I want to make sure that you have the right personality because so many people come in with the mindset of, I want to turn $1,000 into $100,000 in a month. I want to be a super active trader. That's fine. But then myself as a coach and my YouTube channel is not really for you. Maybe some other like guru who like promises like get rich quick stuff could be your guru. But for me, I'm not about that. I just want like the safe passive income that's consistent weekly or monthly. And honestly, I've switched from weekly more to monthly. I think weekly is really good and weekly gives you a lot of rapid results. And in fact, sometimes I do zero DTE trading. Zero DTE trading means zero days to expiration. Some days I will trade and that option will expire in the same day. But that's not what a majority of my wealth and a majority of my portfolio is in. It's really a majority in monthly stocks. That way, when I get on my calls, I can focus on opening some you know, few high quality positions and then we're hands off. We set the position and then we forget about it. We're not like, actively obsessing because A, I have a life and B, I want you know you guys to have a life too. It, this is not about you know putting in a full-time effort. So again, I think the most important thing that you can really focus on is the basics, fundamentals, the foundation, which is covered calls, right? Simply putting your stocks to work, making them produce something. You know, those lazy stocks just sitting there moving up and down, it's much better if you can put them to work by doing like a covered call, right? That's my bread and butter. If I can do covered calls and sell puts, of course, when I sell a put, I'm just collecting some income. I know we've all heard stories of people that honestly, they just stick to covered calls and they make, you know, $5,000, $10,000 a month. Now, obviously you need to have the capital for it, but look, you don't have to start with the capital day one. You should pretty much start with a smaller amount of capital if you're not experienced that and gain the experience. And you're either gonna gain the experience through lots of mistakes and lots of time, or you're gonna get a mentor such as myself. Obviously I benefit, I'm a coach, that's my business, that's my like second business. But you know, you truly are gonna have to pay with time, effort, and probably losses or with money. And that's just generally the case with all things in life. Like I've sought out so many mentors in my life. I've gone to trading mentors, I've gone to you know, so many different people and I've asked them questions about not just investing, not just money, not just savings, but also I didn't even know how to operate a camera. Now I know, but I didn't know how to edit this video. I didn't know how to make a thumbnail that you click. I didn't know any of this. I had to keep paying for coaches. And for me, it's been the best investment because I'm a multimillionaire and I'm 28 and a half. I'm gonna be 29 this year. And I would not be where I am today had I not paid my way through. Uh, it's, you know, that's just kind of the reality of it because most people that do things themselves, it takes a lot of time. And also I'm an and person. Most people, they just study. They're like, oh, I have one thing to do. But the smartest and the best people, they study and they work or they work and they have a side hustle or, you know, they invest but then still have something else on the side that they're working on a project, a business, right? So I'm an and person. I'm always trying to do more. I'm always trying to learn something new. And maybe it's because I get bored really fast. I don't know, but 
I'm an and person that likes to do multiple things. And that's the same thing with income. You should be doing multiple things. Most people think because I got a job at Goldman Sachs that my life was set. But no, I don't want to work for someone else. I don't want to go to an office. And I was in Los Angeles working in private wealth management. And I had to be at the office at six o'clock in the morning because 6 a.m. in California is 9 a.m. in New York City. So for me, I hated that. I had to wake up early. I'm not a morning person. I'm not an office person who wants to get into a suit and a tie and sit there on my ass all day. I really don't like that. I want to have the freedom to like after this video, I'm going to go get coffee. I'm going to go get lunch. And I want you guys to be in the same position because if you're in the position of freedom, then you're in the position to do what you love. And then you can focus on what really matters in life. And again, that's why I created a six week boot camp. This is something fairly new. I've only had about three successful classes that have just finished and enrollment just started for uh, my fourth class. So it is open right now. And the reason why I started this is because I want people to learn from A to Z and not spend the, you know, the six years or the seven years. For me, it took a really long time to get profitable. I'll be honest with you. My first few years in trading, although I worked in finance, I didn't really understand and it's not obvious. And many professionals are losing money. I lie to you not. A lot of financial advisors literally lose money. It's their job and they don't know how to invest profitably. They know how to take your money from you. They know how to give you a call and say, hey, John, I'm going to help you um, retire and blah, blah, blah. Right. But it's all talk. Their results. I have not really seen many successful um, financial advisors and people feel really safe giving their money to financial advisors. But to be honest, like it's not safe at all. The safest thing is for you to know how to do it yourself. OK, for you to understand on a deep level how to trade, how to invest, how to save money, how to budget, how to do your taxes. The more you know, the more you learn, you're going to earn more, you're going to save more and you're going to be in a better financial position. And also one of the biggest differences is you're going to be able to spot opportunity better because the more you know about the world, you can spot different opportunities, invest in them. And honestly, you can make a killing investing. Obviously, like the more capital, the better. Right. But you don't have to start big. You can start with I've actually seen some some students basically just join. You know, they fork up the money for the education and their plan is basically they're starting from zero. They're starting from scratch, but they take their education seriously. Then they have a job that they're funneling a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars a month into their portfolio. And yeah, I've been a coach for three years now. So I've seen people like this start from zero, put in fifteen hundred dollars a month into their portfolio. And in just two years, they're at six figures. You know, they're putting in fifteen hundred because it's a function of two things, right? You're not going to invest your way to millionaire status. If you're thinking, how do I save more money and not get coffee, not invest in my education? You're doing it all wrong. It's it's like a Soviet mentality or it's like my parents. Oh, we can't spend a dollar. Uh, money is super scarce. That's that's actually not how it works. Money is super abundant. If you spend like the more money you spend on education, the more money you spend on just learning, you kind of just invest in yourself. The higher your income will be and the higher income and the better your investment returns. That's really what drives it, right? Like right now, I'll be honest, you know, I'm typically doing over $50,000 a month, right? I have a couple million dollars in my portfolio. I mean, my overall net worth is in the, you know, a couple of millions. So for me, I don't even look at my credit cards like I'm traveling and unfortunately I lost one of my credit cards. So right now I have a credit card that has fees, but it doesn't really matter. I know it's a little bit stupid that I'm spending three dollars in fees and I'm not looking at my bill and I tip a lot and I give people money all the time. I support other people. But the thing is, it doesn't really matter because if I'm making, you know, sixty thousand dollars a month, I don't really care if I spend eighteen thousand dollars in a month. I don't, I don't really care. It doesn't really affect me because once you understand the investment game and you're going to be doing it for a long time, what do I care? Right. I'm making sixty thousand. I'm not going to spend that so I can go out for experiences. I can help other people. I don't have to worry about the bill, right? I don't have to worry about finances. I'm not looking to save money because saving on coffee, not giving my mom a thousand dollars for for animals, um, not getting my dad a tennis racket, right? Not spending some money on my friends, uh, not tipping. That's not going to make me richer. Who cares? Who cares? Really? Who cares? Tonight we smash, you know, the Khabib joke. But anyways, <laughs> that's like a popular me, uh, Khabib, the fighter, MMA fighter. But look, the, the point of the matter is if you're doing your job correctly and you're investing, your capital will compound. You're going to be in the compound interest trajectory. Once you hit six figures, you're on autopilot mode. You just keep going and you're honestly on autopilot mode, even if you have two, three thousand dollars. But once you're in this 
process, you're set as long as you stay to the process. Just like hitting the gym consistently, eating right, you're, you're not fat, you don't have diabetes, you don't have the diseases. I know there's type 2 diabetes where you're born with it, whatever. But if you stay in shape, you will most likely avoid lots of diseases. You most likely will have better mental health. If you focus on your relationship, you most likely won't get divorced, right? Of course, there's issues in relationships, but if you focus and you think and you improve, you're gonna get better financially, relationship-wise, health-wise. Just consistency, consistency, the boring stuff. If you do all of that, you're gonna be successful. And if you need a coach, I'm always here to support you. Please like the video, subscribe, and check out this video right here for improving your option trading.